It seems even China's elites can't escape forced demolitions anymore. Local authorities are knocking down a Beijing villa, despite a court ruling against it and with no compensation in sight. Beijing authorities are tearing down a neighborhood construction project in one of the city's districts, claiming the project is illegal. Forced demolition in the area started last week. The group of properties is known as Badaling Village. Homeowners there are mostly elites from all walks of life. Among them, leaders of China's most prestigious scientific institutions, leaders of large state-run companies, professors from renowned universities, and members of Beijing's high-level political organs. Before moving in, they all signed contracts that guarantee their title certificates, meaning their full ownership of the property. Those documents make the new forced demolition initiative illegal. After homeowners were notified, a number of them sued local town hall authorities. Later, a court ruled that no one has the authority to tear down the properties by force. Despite the court's judgment, the property destruction continues. Video from the scene also reveals that authorities deployed large numbers of riot police. The officers are tasked with blocking the entrance to the demolition site and keeping homeowners out. Multiple excavators working together can destroy homes in a matter of minutes. The Epoch Times reached out to the town hall but did not receive a response. According to an insider familiar with the matter, the homeowners have zero fault in this case, noting that authorities built and sold the properties and that they issued the original licenses for construction. The Epoch Times spoke to one of the homeowners who asked to remain anonymous. But the local authorities is not willing to pay for the relevant certificate. So the application for title certificate is delayed. This problem exists for a very long time. A Beijing lawyer also shed light on the situation, stating that retroactive action would prove nearly impossible at this point. He says competing with the Chinese people for profit is in the Chinese regime's nature. As for the profits, the town hall now has sold almost all their lands and consumed the profits, but it still must pay for the huge expense. So it will compete for people for a profit and grab whatever profit they can take from the Chinese people. It's the most important. Earlier this month, the district mayor attended a Q&A meeting. There, she announced that anyone who voluntarily cooperates with the teardown will receive about $5 per square foot as compensation. The villa's homeowners, on average, invested over $1.5 million per property. As for those who resist the demolition, authorities will continue by force, and the resistor will be held responsible for all associated expenses. She added that authorities would collect the money by legal means. One homeowner who spoke about the situation says those in power nowadays lack knowledge and respect. We trust it because it's a government project with its authentication. We trust it because it's a government project with its endorsement. Never thought the authority not only refused to issue certificate, but also demolish our homes. Demolition efforts in the district are ongoing.